This is a YouTube thumbnail. It's clean, refined, and gives viewers an idea of what the video is going to be about. However, it has one teeny tiny problem. It's not funny. Now, in order to fix our modern problem of unfunny thumbnails, I need to first add something to these thumbnails. And since I'm basically a Blue Archive channel at this point, I'm thinking of overlaying Blue Archive over these images. Specifically, I would overlay stuff from Blue Sechi, who's an artist that makes a lot of Blue Archive animations. So before I start this project, I first have to look at whether it already exists or not, because if it already exists, why would I code it? So let me look at the Google Web Store real quick. Oh shit, I just got a killer clickbait title. Alright, now with the YouTube title in mind, since this is my first time making a Chrome extension, I decided to go look at the tutorial for how to get started with Google extensions, and these are pretty much the main parts. Manifest.json is like the settings, whatever you want.js is the main program. I said whatever you want because you can basically name it whatever you want and just change it in manifest.json anyways. Popup.html and popup.js are the popups for the extension, and you can find those popups by like, you know, like clicking up there in the search bar, that part, yeah. Now, I'm pretty confident I can get the last two parts, but for manifest, I looked at the source of my inspiration, which was Mr. Beast defined Jambify for guidance. Honestly, you can just ask ChatGPT for guidance on this because it's very basic. Now, from the words of Sun Tzu, in order to alter a YouTube thumbnail, you must first know how to find it. And that is where Get Thumbnails comes in. It gets all the thumbnails with the query selector and puts it into an array. This line of code is to find the thumbnail, and it's from Jambify by the way. I don't know how to find the identifier for the thumbnails. Please teach me, please. Okay, so now we have the thumbnails. But what do we do with those? Well, before we change anything, we first gotta go through each image or thumbnail in this array. For each, we assign a random index number, which is basically what overlay it's gonna use. We use that index to get that overlay's URL. It's basically a security issue, but I don't wanna delve into that. So now we have to change the thumbnail. And it's pretty simple. I took the structure from Mr. Beastify, but it didn't look right, so I kept changing the values, and it looks a lot more like Jambify's. So after we get all the settings for the overlay in place, we use a pen child for the image parent class, which is basically the thumbnail itself. I put the Z index at 10 so that it knows that the overlay must be on top of the original thumbnail. If not, it can be placed under, which we don't want. Okay, so now we need to know when to apply these overlays. Well, it should first be called when you open YouTube, so we'll just put that in an initial call. Also, whenever we scroll down for more videos, it loads more thumbnails. So I use this thing called Mutation Observer, which is basically whenever it observes a mutation, which is whenever it sees more thumbnails, it'll call the function to add more overlays into the thumbnails. Anyways, I'll be releasing this on the Chrome Web Store by the time this releases. I don't know if it'll get taken down because none of this artwork is mine. I'm just releasing it because Blue Sechi seems pretty chill about others using his work for things that aren't for profit. I emailed the email he's put for any context, which is an email for Parable Entertainment. And I think they ghosted me because I'm literally 17 years old and literally asking a place where people go for brand deals, whether I can use any of his artworks for a fucking Google extension. So, uh, yeah, I, yeah, I, I, I'd ghost me too, but oh yeah. Also, I should probably put a demo of this. So here, here's what YouTube looks like. Woo, isn't this so, so work?